Alright my people, welcome back to Fallout 4 and welcome to the Commonwealth Institute of Technology. So, I would say we start having a look around. Um, it looks like we're all by ourselves here, so... Interesting. Interesting, huh? Alright, let's see. Dramatic music. No one else here. Well, I honestly, I expected a little bit more of a security response towards our arrival. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. They got the same shit in, <laughs> in their boxes as everyone else. Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Ooh. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay, that was an invitation. Institutionalized. Yes, okay. But before we do that, let's check this out. Error, error, signal rerouted. Oh, that's the... <coughs> sorry. That's the one that we just caused, huh? Okay. So, wait. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Insert network scanner holotape. There you go. Let's do that. No. Not exit. There you go. Um, bum, 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 bum. Institute scanner. I have so much shit here. Yeah, what's the name of that thing? Did I not take it? That's making me nervous. Tomatron, blah, 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 blah. This? That's, that's not. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, it takes it out immediately again. So the thing is called Network Scanner Holotape. Okay, so under N, I just... Oh, God. Remember every time I said I should clean out my... Mm -hmm. I should have cleaned that out. Initiate network scan. There you go. Good. So, I got the tape. That's not the elevator. I assume this way. I am really curious about this place. Should not have taken the folder. Well, busted. Busted. Institute jumper. Uh, I will probably have multiple chances to get that. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like you can to show you that you may have. The wrong impression. Dude, you created a sentient Welcome being to the Institute. and you keep it under taps. It's just not okay. Holy shit! Look at this place. These people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. 
decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you see, there? things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Okay. Is that my son? Tweezers. Gear examiner. That requires key. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Really? Sean? Oh my god. It's really... it's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I, I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh! It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Sean, please. Calm down. That's I'll not get working. You out of there. As a woman Father, in the power armor Father, standing before me. a kid, that's not Father, how that works. Me. Father, Father, help me. Can we open Damn. this door? Sean. S923 oh, code Cirrus. Oh, he's a synth? Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. Sure. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean! The real Sean! Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. The fuck? It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. Wait, what? Bullshit. Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. It's true. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost, but then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, 
And now it's Lita. Wait, that doesn't make sense, right? Because when we when we saw the cutscene, Kellogg was not that was not sixty years. How did that guy not age? So something is not right here. This really is a matter of importance. It wasn't. It wasn't right. What they did. Um, she's taking you. Yeah, she life. believes it. To you, that would certainly seem true, but to the institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year twenty-two twenty-seven, the institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity. And the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. But I why? It was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed, and so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I oh my there. god. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you've... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. Yeah, that's something I... He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. He was a murderer. He killed your father. Believe me. I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. He's very articulate. Many more will never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Oh, there's so many things. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate could have, bit of... He could have... He could have gotten her out, right? For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation... And that... Was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if... More often. But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Mm. So, 
You're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Really? They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can't You killed people. That. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? <sighs> this is difficult. I... I th you want me to stay here in... in the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done. Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. He Meet does not really... You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. What I... Okay. The problem that I have with this is... He does not really accept other points of view. Did you, did you notice that? It's like... Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, I can get up there. And down here. Yeah, he does not really accept other points of view, you know? We're we're the best and I am I don't think this is this is a good If they were so good here at the institute. Again, and, and I think Allison is onto something there. They, they would normally, you know, just show themselves. Well, maybe not. Why is there ammunition in his bathroom? Well, now it's in my pocket, but why is there ammunition in the first place? Okay. Holy shit, look at this place. I don't even know where to begin. Sean's terminal password, yes. I think I'm gonna need that at some point. So we, we did the network scan, right? And um, we have the... 
So where is this terminal? That's not it. Okay, I think that's the same door that we've seen before. Right, right, right. Let's go down first. Holy smokes. It's the lowest level of, of this. Ooh, a master terminal. Quantities. No, not necessarily. Population. Maybe? Oh, that's actually five. Population. Nice. All right, let's open this door then. Open sesame. This can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected life. Cauterizer. Applicator. High-powered microscope. Uh, some good salvage down here. Fusion cells. Who are you? All wait, wait, wait. You're a synth. Synth patroller. That means they have security in this place. Robotics. Biosigns. He said I should I should talk to the division leaders, right? Okay, so we cancel this for now. Um, there seems to be one division leader right here. However, I'm going to talk to her in the next episode. This is going to be less action-packed for the next couple of days, I assume. Because, you know, scientists. Yeah, it is very advanced. I will talk to you about that in just a second. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I'm going to talk to all these people, have a look around. Um, I don't know what they are up to. And what their ultimate plan is. But we'll figure it out. And until we do, thanks for watching. I, I see you in two days. Until then, I'm Stordian.